Hi, I'm Ryan from Internet Products, and today I'm going to talk to you about our new shoe, the Ascend. So, back in early 2021, we um, decided to discontinue our relationship with uh, Sabo, who we'd been carrying for, a pair, for shoes for uh, quite a few years now, due to their manufacturing in Russia, and the, the war in Ukraine. So we suspended our partnership, which left us with a kind of a big hole in our product lineup, which was a good squat shoe. Um, so we started by looking to uh, Canadian manufacturers for shoes, as we do try to do things in Canada. There aren't a lot of people that make shoes in Canada still, and the ones that do didn't seem to be too interested in making us a shoe. So uh, after some consideration, we decided we needed to go overseas to China to, to get our shoe made. Um, and we worked with a company uh, there to produce this shoe. So this is what we came up with, the Ascend. Uh, it's our squat shoe um, or weightlifting shoe if you want to use it for that. Um, um, I've actually been using a prototype of this shoe, I think for about three months now. Um, and so I've been squatting in it you know, multiple times a week, and it's been a very solid shoe. Prior to that, I was wearing the Sabo Powerlifts, um, and they were a good shoe too. They didn't feel to the same level of this, and I'm not trying to toot our own horn or anything like that. These are a little more expensive of a shoe, um, so that's where the, you can definitely tell the difference in, in the quality of them. So we went with a double strap on these. The, the Velcro is a, a new style of Velcro, a little less catchy, so it shouldn't, uh, uh, catch and fray stuff like like an older Velcro will. Uh, really nice um, padded heel in here, which uh, I found to really hold my ankle in place nicely. Good quality laces. One thing we always found with the the, the Sabos was their laces broke down quite quickly. So these are, we made sure we got good high quality laces in these. Um, so it should last you a long time with uh, metal shoelace tip ends. I, there's a name for those, but I don't know what they are. We want to stay with a neutral color scheme since we're only gonna have one model of this for a while at least. So we went with a, a black shoe with a gray print and a gray copy of our logo there. Our logo is also seen on the on the toe of the shoe, a tongue of the shoe, sorry, and then also on the insole of the shoe. So we kept it pretty neutral, but uh, we think it's a really good looking shoe. It's nice, it can kind of, doesn't matter what color scheme you're gonna wear, it's gonna go with it. A standard sole you'd see in a lot of different squat shoes. Uh, good texture, good grip. Um, there's, uh, there's no um, no slip to these. I've never had issues with traction. Uh, I do wear them for bench occasionally, and they've been good for that as well. And overall, we're, we're really happy with how these turned out. Um, like I said, I've been wearing them now for quite a few months, and I've seen no degradation in them. Um, they are definitely, as a wide-footed individual, these are definitely more in the medium width. Um, they're not as wide as say the Sabo powerlifts were, um, but they're not as narrow as some other shoes in the market. We're really happy with this. We think you're gonna like it, and uh, we're excited to put it out there. So it's one of our first products that we've branded ourselves, um, and so it's kind of a new venture for us, but uh, we're pretty excited to bring this to you. If you have any questions about the shoe, uh, leave them down in the comments below. We'll be sure to answer them for you. Um, otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.